Hello everybody, Curious Quarter right here, and uh, I'm doing a live commentary style uh, for this video in my Dark Souls playthrough series. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is buy the tower key, collect some items, and uh, show you uh, what hopefully is a foolproof way to uh, get the Uchi Katana from that jerk face uh, near the back of the Firelink Shrine. So I'm just going to first make my way over to buy the tower key which again I'm experiencing some more performance issues as you can see it's like it seems fine right here and then if I get over to this area it just kinda slows down a little bit which is frustrating makes uh, fighting a little bit difficult so that sucks so purchase the item and the tower key is what we're looking for Essentially, we're going to get some really cool items with the tower key. Uh, you can get these items, well, some of them, without the tower key if you do the tree glitch, or exploit, rather, uh, like I did in my last video. So you don't have to spend the 20,000 souls to get the key. Um, it's probably better served to uh, <laughs> just level your character up. So I'm going to make my way to the uh, first tower door. It's also where the tree exploit uh, can be executed. So like I said in my last video, if you didn't see it, if you time it correctly, it, it, it's going to take a few tries. You can uh, actually run up this tree. Oh, I actually got it on my first try. <laughs> awesome. But you can run up that tree and onto here. And right here would be a homeward bone, uh, as well as an entrance into the roof of the Firelink Shrine. And while we're up here, I should just show you an easy way to get the Uchi Gatana. This has worked twice for me now. Uh, Rather than fighting the guy with the Uchi Katana, he's very tough to fight. Uh, dealing damage to him this early in the game is uh, nearly impossible, and he's incredibly fast, and he can uh, damage you immensely and cause bleeding. Uh, so, of course, he's not here, but uh, normally he would be right here. And the AI is going to latch itself onto you and try to get to you any way it can. So what I ended up doing was walked over here, and very carefully walked on this ledge right here. Uh, I got it about right here. And what ended up happening was he got right underneath me and ended up doing a really strong uh, swipe attack with the Uchi Katana. And then he disappeared. And I waited for a second. And then I ended up getting the souls for beating him. So what I'm assuming happened was he somehow glitched through the rocks over here which then caused him to kill himself. So that's happened twice for me already. So uh, like I said, I don't know if that's a foolproof plan on how to get him to kill himself, but it's worked twice for me so far. So if you can get that tree exploit to work before you get the key, uh, it would not hurt to try and creep over here to see if you can't get him to uh, off himself the easiest way because trying to fight him is going to be very difficult and trying to knock him off the ledge yourself is going to be very dangerous and uh, you'll probably die a few times trying that so that's the quick little uh, cheat way I learned to get the Uchi Katana but we're going to make our way back to the door now and uh, I can't believe I got that jump on my first try before like the first time it took me six minutes to try and do that jump but we're going to access this door here using the tower key and we're going to go make our way up and uh, it actually took me a while to try and save up 20,000 souls I actually restarted the game a second time because I screwed up royally on my way to the first boss I got murdered and lost all my souls got frustrated and decided to start over so I might not make this jump if I were to try so I might not want to jump down there just yet I've got pretty low health and I feel like jumping from this height would not be a very good idea so we're just gonna go straight ahead first unless you know no, I sh no I can jump here all right okay there we go we're all good we're fine just took a little bit of damage as you can see the uh, that game performance is really bugging me so here's a bird's nest I've accessed the other one in the actual firelink shrine so I'm going to leave something here for this bird. Um, let's see what I got. Let's access my inventory. 
And I've got one black fire bomb I could leave. I don't really want to leave that, but because they, they they do a pretty damn good amount of damage, but uh, I'll go ahead and leave it in. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, that's gone now. <laughs> Apparently, it's not going to let me leave a great fire bomb, so that's awesome. So, let's see. What can I leave? I can leave some green blossom. Let's try that. Now you gotta remember you can't leave two of the same items, so once you leave one item, it's not gonna work again, unfortunately. Okay, so unfortunately the green blossom she did not want, so... Once I get some regular fire bombs, I'll come back, because those seem to work. They seem to like taking those, but as you can see, once you get here, you can visit the bird and leave something in its nest, but we'll come back later for that. Uh, first, I'd like to make my way over here so I can unlock the shortcut for the uh, ladder. Because we're going to need that to get back up. I feel pretty underpowered so far in the game. Uh, I take damage like a mofo. I've died quite a few times already, but I've still managed on my next playthrough, well, my current playthrough, not to uh, lose my souls. Because that can be frustrating. So, I believe there's some stuff... Not on this side, but on the other side, which is a set of robes, but I'll come back and attempt that because I'll probably die on my first try trying to get that. But we're going to take the elevator here. Uh, I don't know what's over here, if anything. Note. Ah, pointless. <laughs> so I came this way for no reason. But uh, when it comes to Dark Souls, any Dark Souls, uh, I am an exploration whore. I need to look at every single nook and cranny of an area to find stuff um, and I'm also the kind of person who will go online and read stuff or watch videos to find hidden stuff which I know kind of ruins the experience for some people but I like to try and find what I can uh, especially if it's gonna help me so here there's some remains and we have the firekeeper soul so that's dope I uh, believe that's going to be useful on a side quest, if I remember what I read correctly. Make our way back down. An attempt to uh, get those robes, which is going to be a dangerous. Because that's a very, very, very long way down. And I don't exactly have uh, a lot of health here. So, let's see. I don't want to jump. I want to roll forward. Let's see what happens here. I missed it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, the good thing about dying in the Firelink Shrine is you don't have to worry about any enemies killing you before you reach your blood stain. So, we'll try that again. All right. Blood stain and souls retrieved. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's see where I'm lined up. Because it seemed like I landed on the spot, but he just slid right off. So... Let's try this time. Aha, I made it. Okay, very, very careful now. Very, very careful. Pillage of those remains. And we get the Firekeeper robe, gloves, and the skirt. Um, which might come in handy if I ever want to just try to get faster. So let me heal before I fall here. Because I'm going to take some big damage. There we go. Okay, it's not, not as bad as I thought. Fine work. And over here. Nice, we have an Estus ring. I believe... Let's see what the Estus ring does. I think it's going to increase our Estus use. Let's see. Yeah, increases HP restored with Estus flask. So that's going to come in handy. So I also do have the Ring of Sacrifice. I did some uh, scouring and I did come across one of these. Also in my last video, I made a huge mistake. I called uh, one of the items Raw Maw. And it's actually the Raw Gem right here. I don't know why I was thinking Raw Maw. I couldn't remember the name. And for some reason, this just stuck in my head. But I got one of these by killing one of those Titanite slugs. And then the other two, I just killed random enemies, and they just happened to drop them. So I, I guess I got lucky with that. But those will come in handy when uh, reinforcing and forging your weapons to make them stronger. 
Okay, so that's basically, I think, going to be all of the stuff at the uh, Firelink Shrine area. So I am Curious Corduroy. If you like the video, if you like this style of video with a live commentary, uh, let me know. Uh, if you like the video, click the like button and subscribe if you have not already. I very much enjoy playing this game. And I will see you guys in the next video. So take care and have a good one.